Hey guys, welcome back to Celerity Technology. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at Corsair's XC7 RGB CPU block. This is Corsair's entry into the water cooling market and I recently did a review and unboxing of both their D5 pump reservoir combo as well as their GPU block. Um, I wanted to do kind of a review of this as well as an unboxing because people like that and well here we go. So as you can see Corsair has really brought their marketing prowess to water cooling. Most water blocks that you see are generally water cooling in general for custom loops it tends to be pretty bare um, with some graphics but never like this good in my opinion. So it's just solfane and it kind of reminds me of the old PC game boxes, maybe a little bit smaller, but that's kind of my first impression. I would have done this earlier, but um, I think they've actually done really well in selling these that they had issues um, getting to me, getting one to me on time. I pretty much had it, quite a few of the other parts and I guess it's selling like hotcakes. So here's the back of it. Sides, they have this super chilled, and then okay. And I can't even do any sharper, so here we go. And here she comes, box removed. So, as you can see, we have the manual that will tell you how to do this. This is for both the LGA um, 11.5X, which um, is kind of a wild card, and AM4. And it will work on probably AM3, but why would you want to do that? Then you have your little warranty guide. And then back, you know, kind of onto what's really important you know, the block itself. Uh, this is kind of interesting. So it looks like it uses something similar to what Asiatech uses. Um, looks like for the AM4 mount and back back plate for it, and then you have the mounting hardware. And then we have the CPU block, and it does have pre-applied um, paste on the on the block itself. And it's kind of your standard run of the mill. It, well, looks like, first of all, it looks like kind of a little happy face. The guy's kind of smiling right there. At least that was my first impression of it. Um, I think this is the in, import and this is the out. Um, it does have a, a specific in and out because it does have a jet plate. Um, just in general, um, you're going to find out if you look into benchmarks, um, you're going to find out most modern CPU blocks perform relatively the same. So you're generally buying a CPU block for the looks, the ecosystem, um, more than anything else. They do have an XC9 which will fit a Threat Threadripper and um, Intel's um, high-end desktop CPUs, I think 2011. Um, but um, this is for your standard run-of-the-mill um, AM4 and 11. 11.5x. So, um, so the way it works is you actually have this is actually Tech Power Up's website, and they took some good close-up pictures. A guy named I think VGD VSG, sorry VSG, always gets his name mixed up, but he did a pretty good review. If you want to check it on, it's on Tech Power Up, and it basically has these little micro fins and uses a jet plate which is right here that helps force the water through the micro fins to help cool it and this is pretty much what every other this is pretty much what every other like um, vendor will do for you know their block and they perform relatively the same if you take a look back at his actual his actual review of this it was actually XC9 you're gonna see that out of all these blocks they kinda of perform relatively the same I mean they're all really within margin of error. So, you know, that kind of goes to my point is, you know, I, I will call this a review. Some people will call it an overview. But in my opinion, when it comes to custom water cooling loops, um, 
Uh, the CPU block is generally in a lot of the other parts, and it tend to be more about you know uh, aesthetics. And you get your performance, and you through you know better radiators, fan curves, um, and also it's real all about sound as well. You really want to if you want to get a water cooling, this can help you reduce the noise level of your system. And just by adding more radiators. It's not necessarily going to make your system run cooler, but you can run your fans at lower speeds that will way won't be as loud. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try plugging this block into a Node Pro just to show you guys what effects it has. So here's the lighting on it. And let me just go into IQ, some of the different patterns like you can do. All these different wonderful patterns. You can some static lighting, temperature, visor. So right now I'm just using IQ for this to play with it. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. You can pick this up for seven, about 75 bucks, which is relatively a, a decent price for your typical name brand um, CPU block. Um, again, pretty much when it comes to CPU blocks, it is, you know, from pretty much any reputable company, they're going to be fairly similar in performance. So get one that you like and get one that feels like it has good quality options. I mean, this does have variety of mounting brackets, not all of them can be mounted for everyone and well thank you very much for tuning in and have a wonderful evening oh feel free to subscribe